No one can deny how awesome LEDs are. Even watching them blink makes my day. And it's like icing on a cake if it is addressable RGB LED, a WS2812B in this case. They are very popular and come in SMD packages. They can be found anywhere easily in strip form. Although they are easily available, in India they are highly overpriced. This particular version is 6 times the price than that of AliExpress. But if you look at the SMD LED only, it is just double the price than that of AliExpress which I think is quite acceptable. Of course I can order from there but I don't like to wait a month or so if I have an idea in my mind. And hence I bought some of those to see what I can do with them and also made modules like this which doesn't help at all. Finally I decided to make a strip from a copper board which will look like this. I started by creating solar pairs using Inkscape. I used the dimensions from the datasheet and several images from Google. The distance between LEDs are kept similar to 60 LEDs per meter version of the strip. There is also a space for 1206 SMD 100 nF capacitor. They are not important for a small length of the strip. The width of the traces are 0.04 inches which can easily carry 3 amps of current on a 25 micrometer copper board. I also label the traces to avoid confusion during soldering. I get it printed using a laser printer on a glossy paper. From a 25 micrometer copper board, I cut a strip of 15 mm width. Using an emery paper, I cleaned the copper board to remove dust and unwanted particles. I cleaned it again using some acetone and it was finally prepared for toner transfer. Using a scissor, I cut one strip from the printed paper and I heated my iron to its maximum temperature. Using an MDF as insulation, I aligned the traces onto the center of the board and slowly started pressing the iron. Please take your time and do not hurry during this process as the toner may not get transferred completely. Then I put the board in water to remove the paper. Please note that I only used my fingers and that too very lightly to remove the paper. Otherwise there is a risk of removing the toner as well. Now check for places where toner is not transferred and cover it with a black marker 2-3 to three times. It's time to dip it in the ferric chloride solution and please be cautious during this process. Use a glove if you don't have much experience doing this. I left the board in the acid for 5 to 7 minutes to completely remove the unwanted copper. Then using a sharp object I carefully removed the toner only from the places I had to put solder on. This removes the need of masking the PCB. Using a multimeter I checked for shorts and continuity. I gotta say, the board is really looking nice after all the processes. Then I added solder to all the exposed copper. While I was just about to solder the LED, I realized I have made a huge blunder. I didn't flip the schematic before getting it printed. So dumb. And so after flipping, I did the whole process again and this is the corrected PCB. I also discovered using a screwdriver for removing traces is much easy. This time I only added solder to the ground pin of the LED. Then I kept the LED aligning with the pads and heated the solder at the ground pin. The LED got soldered in no time. Then I applied solder to the other pads as well. It's really not that hard. Then I checked the connections using the continuity function of my multimeter. After soldering 6 of them, I decided to test it. For that, I soldered headers to the connection pins of the strip. I'll explain the testing process in a few seconds. I soldered the remaining LEDs and checked for shorts between power rails using a multimeter. On an Arduino Uno, I connected VCC to plus 5 volts, ground to ground and data to pin 3. From the fast LED library, I uploaded first light sketch to the Arduino and everything seems to work fine but the first two. Although they are transmitting data but they are not glowing. I tried but was unable to find the problem. I will surely try again but I think they are just broken. You can find more details and related files in the description below. If you enjoyed the video and is of any help to you, please don't forget to like and share and consider subscribing as more videos are on their way. So thank you guys for watching, till next time.